never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. I only wanted one time to see you laughing. Hey everybody, it's Russ, coming at you right here from McKamey Manor. This next film is one that I didn't have much to do with, and it kind of shows some things that, to be honest with you, that I actually don't want to be shown. We had a documentary crew come out 
a few months ago from San Diego State University. And I agreed to do a little documentary. I didn't think anything about it really. But to be honest with you, they kind of got some footage that I'm not really pleased that they got a hold of. And, yeah, you know, I'm just not really happy about what they made. And it's not really anything against them, it's just that it looks like they kind of caught us off guard, and caught me off guard a bit to where some things that I've been trying to keep a secret. And you know, I, I really don't care anymore, whatever. You guys know what the matter really is about, right? You understand that? You finally get it? Have you smartened up yet? So yeah, maybe they kind of uh, pulled the curtain behind the scenes a little bit. Something that I've tried to protect for a lot of years, and so I'm not pleased about that. There's nothing I can do. The film was out there. It was shown at a, at a festival even, which I didn't know about, which I didn't get permission to be shown to the public. I thought this was a school project. I didn't know I was going to be out there for the whole world to see with, with this. So I had nothing to do with this movie. It was basically filmed while I was filming certain things and I didn't let folks get very far. It was shot when Marissa Phillips did her tour with The Manor. There will be a full version of Marissa's tour soon. It's gonna be a long movie, of course. This is only 15 minutes, 13 minutes, whatever, but doesn't show us in the best possible light because I guess I didn't have control of it. When I edit and shoot, I have control of the image I'm trying to present. And unfortunately, this documentary was way out of my control. And I didn't realize he was shooting footage at certain times. So, here you go. What can I do? It's out there. Sing louder. Uh, Nevada. Sing fucking louder. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Home North Carolina, Bay. North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas. Yeah. My educated opinion. Colorado is the best. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Sing it. Sing what? Peanut butter and jelly time. I, I it's home Way up, way up, way I've never gotten into a fight. Um, never gotten a black eye. I, I don't know. Um, I think I just need some more bumps and bruises in my life. I started watching the McKamey Manor movies and kind of fell in love. I would call it kind of my rite of passage. Um, I kind of need to do something to prove that I, like, I'm a tough enough adult to, I don't know, be an adult or <laughs> to be relevant. My mom is kind of crazy. I don't have a relationship with her. I haven't talked to her in years. But I did grow up with her in the house my whole life. But she was so weird. She only, she only stayed in her bedroom and she never left the house to drive or anything. The one thing, one life lesson my mom taught me was to live dangerously, which I find really hilarious coming from her. I know. Get in here, crew. Yeah, I'm fucking lucky I can't fucking touch you. Go your grip, dumb motherfucker. Hurry up, little bitch. Damn, girl, I'm telling you right now. Come back to the house.
I like hurting people. Is there anything in your past that's influenced that? Balls. Definitely. Do you have any advice for Marissa? She shouldn't have shown up. Hey boss, this is just so She's fucking, fucking stupid. Dead. You that? know what? Because we're gonna fucking dead. kill her. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna mutilate her. When did you start working on McKinney Manor? Years ago. I just got out of the penitentiary. I'm a convicted people. felon. What was it felony? What what the fuck, man? Is this about me? Is this about my personal life? Go ahead and answer the question. Uh, murder. Uh, I definitely pull out nails. I definitely cut the hair. I definitely shave the eyebrows. Anything that's done to me, I will make sure is done to them. I, know, I look forward to it, like a full, long, stressful week. Liza. And then finally again to release my anger out on a Sunday afternoon. I feel pretty good after. Now listen, just for the record, I want to set it up straight. I am a convicted felon. I wanted to scare you guys. I haven't been convicted for murder, tell them that. It's, it's robbery. No, it's that. been robbery. That's it. That's what it was. So this is all an act. You think it? Just sign a waiver. I'll show you. You an think act. this is a fucking act? Sign man. it. I was actually an actor. I've known Russ no. for a couple years. Don't do that. Um, and I used to be an actor, but it, it kind of the manners changed. Can I please be interviewed? Show you it. Sell them out. Without you interrupting. Sell them out. Um, I used to do it for the love of the haunt, for the love of scaring people. And it just got a little out of control. Um, I think Russ that's is kind not, of unstable. That's not true. No, that yeah, is it. I think shit. Russ is no, unstable. Okay. Is and she she and I don't feel comfortable being alone with him anymore. Blackmail us. I think he's he's bullshit. sadistic and he's sick. Off his knocker, yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, and you keep us here and you blackmail us. So it, it's fucking bullshit. You know what? That's bullshit. I'm with you. She got away from you. Yo, that's not yeah. true. That's not true. He, I used to defend you, him because he's such a nice. He he came came off as such a nice guy, but then we all have our crazy sides, and we all have our crazy sides. All us actors, I'm just a little afraid to be honest, and especially with all the haters and death threats and bomb threats and all the legal stuff. I'm kind of worried for my life oh, it used to it used to be baby? for for the love of the haunt and i don't know what it still happened. is okay it still is the love of haunt it, no you know? it's just because you get off to torturing people fuck you, you man fuck you you well, know you don't know do, fucking shit about, about me oh. well fuck I, you. It, it has gotten tougher but it's not it's not as much as a scare psychological tactic as it is just shit. just bruising people i mean i got bruised a little today just by these guys roughing me up and it's it's all about beating them to to a Where's pulp. Your I'm just saying let's let's scare the fucking shit out of people. You that's been, you what I want to do. You haven't that's been here for freaking months. It. You haven't been here for months, so you have no idea. You you don't know what you're talking about. You haven't been here since the chamber's been on at all. You've been out too busy doing You've your done own it little twice. thing. You've been out doing your own little thing. You don't even give a shit anymore. So right. don't, don't act. Yeah. I didn't know so this she was used, be so a look, So she used. So. She Yes, yes, I'm right here. Say it. Say it. You gotta say it. Say it. You gotta say it. Say it. Most fantastic guy I know. Good job. Perfect. Thanks for visiting us. I've got to tell you something. Can I tell you something honestly? Yes, Russ. You were a beast. You killed this. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you laughing? You, you, laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you were absolutely, and we're not kidding you, the absolute best we've ever had in the gym. That was awesome. That was crazy. That yeah, was good. Good job. Marissa. Good job. Good job, Marissa. It was. Good job. Uh, 
I'm supposed to say like all this stuff like it was so scary and horrible and intense and it was but it was awesome I'm really glad I did this I wanted to see how strong and tough I was I wanted to like myself and know what I was made out of I just wanted to have a crazy intense once in a lifetime experience and all of those things definitely happened for me at any moment, did you feel like this wasn't what I signed up for? I want to think very carefully about that one. But I'm going to say no. I, I understood what I was getting into. Um, I can't say it was expected what happened, but I, I knew what I was signing up for. Yeah. Um, again, not getting fresh, but that's probably the worst one. At least the worst one I've seen so far. And there's a lot of welts like that all over my legs. Um, there's a good one. But, like, now I've done it. Like, now I can finally relax. Now, like, I've gotten it over with. I, I'm a winner, and... Yeah, I didn't back out. It just, um... I'm tougher than I give myself credit for. Kind of more awesome than I give myself credit for, too. My weird agoraphobic mother's advice was to live dangerously. And so, live dangerously. Do you think you ever share this with your mother? Probably not. Maybe. Do you think this at all would motivate you to reconnect with her? Yeah, thinking about her this much has definitely made me consider that. But on the other hand, like I've accomplished this and gotten this far without her. So, I don't know, I guess that's kind of a negative approach. Like if I'm strong on my own, then I don't need to be scared of her anymore. Like I can reconnect and she can't hurt me anymore because I'm a grown adult who can do the chamber and come to California all by herself. Like, this sounds horrible, but maybe she's too pathetic for me to deal with, to have in my life. Or maybe I'm strong enough where, you know, I can be good to her even if she can't be good to me. Do you think you're proving yourself to your mother that you're a strong person by going through the chamber? I think I've proven to her and a lot of other people. Either people either love me or they hate me. Love me or hate me, one or the other. I'm proud of knowing that I have a bit of a legacy and that after I'm dead and gone, people will still be talking about that urban le legend of McCamey Manor. Do you consider yourself a filmmaker? Absolutely. So when I'm dead and gone, my movies will still be out there. People will still be uh, pondering the question, what was real, what wasn't real? What's Russ really like? Is he that dick or is he a nice guy? Or is he a little bit of both? What's really real about him? Nobody really knows. And that's the way I like it. All showbiz, folks. All showbiz. Hi, um, this is me, Marissa, and I'm so embarrassed. Um, I want to say thank you, and this is sort of a special goodbye, because this is the final day that I'm working at the laundromat, the job that I was so embarrassed about, it put me in tears to admit that I work at a freaking laundromat. While I was in the chamber. Um, this is my last shift here. This is the last time I'm ever officially going to be an employee of the laundromat. And this Monday, I'm starting a much better job, a job that uses what I've studied in college and all of my other skills and actually pays me a decent wage. I am so lucky that I got to go through the chamber and I got to meet Russ 
and that I got to meet the actors. My life is different now that I've done this. This is the start to a lot of new things for me. And Russ, thank you. I almost feel like I don't deserve this. Um, I don't even have words. I've had so many people support me. And I'm just the luckiest girl in the world. Because of the chamber, my life is going to change. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Especially, thank you, Russ. I'm going to go clock out now. Have a good night.